All right, let's get right to it. Uh, Saturday, January 22nd. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to be busy. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going with a recorded video for you this morning. Not often I do this on a Saturday morning, but that means that we got st some stuff going on. Uh, first off, I wanted to uh, tell you that the uh, MSP International Airport received 0 0.7 inches of snow up through 6 a.m. this morning. That was the same with Chan Hassan National Weather Service. So I, I think most areas in southern Minnesota, including the Twin Cities Metro, got anywhere from a half an inch to about an inch of snow. Some areas maybe a little bit over an inch, but this uh, snow uh, yesterday evening in the overnight hours behaved about as expected. I don't know, I, always, I don't think many areas got much more than an inch, if even an inch at all. So anyway, hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Okay, here is what I've got now for the next 24 hour period. Actually, between the hours of about 4 p.m. today and 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. And here it is, I'm expecting a solid two to four inches of snow across our region, especially from the I-94 corridor on south. Okay, so that would include Eau Claire, the Twin Cities, St. Cloud, and then south. To the Rochester Mankato areas and I do think that from about Mankato to near Rochester or Mankato to Albert Lee that I-90 corridor down there in southern Minnesota could get in excess of four inches of snow and this is going to be a quick hitting clipper system that means business and it's going to it's uh, going to drop its snow rapidly within about a three to six hour period and we've really got a nice setup for snow actually you can see it here on radar from Minot this is from Minot, North Dakota now, and here's the snow streaming southeast out of North Dakota. It's going to head into western Minnesota by early this afternoon and then overspread our region uh, between the hours of about 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. That's when it will overspread the region. And I think the height of this snow activity, the height of the storm, will be somewhere in the early evening hours. Oh, between 7 and 9 p.m. Okay, let's get into the reason why this is happening. And, and keep in mind, we've got another system right behind this one today that will strike tomorrow night and into Monday morning. Okay, here is the moisture channel loop. We call this the water vapor imagery from outer space. And look at the dry air that's over us right now. This is, even though we've had some flurries and spits of light snow this morning, um, we've got some really dry air overhead which is why it's a little bit of a surprise that we even had some flakes early this morning. But now you can see moisture already streaming east and especially southeast now towards western Minnesota. And it's this Pacific moisture that's riding over the Rocky Mountains that's gonna give us our snow opportunity here over the next 12 to 18 hours. And then we'll have the ex almost the exact same setup as we get into Sunday night and Monday morning. Okay. Here are the winds now. These are at 700 millibars, so this is about 10 to 15,000 feet in our atmosphere. And this is going to clearly kind of show you why we're getting these disturbances. Here's the winds for tonight at about 7 p.m. this evening. And look how strong they are. This is what we call a jet streak. And uh, this jet streak is not only in the lower and middle levels of our atmosphere, but it's even as we get up to 500 and 300 millibars. This jet streak is there. So we've got strong winds heading southeast into South Dakota, and it's usually on the nose or the left front quad of a jet streak is where you get lift. And watch what happens to this jet streak as we go through time. It dives southeast towards western Iowa and eastern Nebraska, and that leaves us in that left front quad, which is a perfect spot for lift. Now watch as we go through time tomorrow. That jet streak leaves, and then look at this, another one comes into South Dakota, almost the exact same orientation, almost the exact same location, maybe just 50 miles further north. So with that being said, the next snow band for later Sunday into Monday morning will probably be developing right in this area here, which is right over our region. Hence the reason why we're probably going to get a couple of shots of decent shots of accumulating snow here. Not massive storm systems because this is going to be these storms, uh, these clippers will be moving so fast. But 
it's certainly enough to cause problems. If we go a little bit lower in the atmosphere, you can see the same thing. Here comes uh, some what we call warm air advection winds into southwestern Minnesota this evening, and we're on the nose of those winds. So that is a perfect spot for lift. And then that area moves by so that by tomorrow morning, we look to clear out a little bit. Temperatures will drop quickly too, but then look at what happens Sunday evening. Another <clears throat> surge of warm air advection comes in to southern Minnesota, so that would, again, put us in a pretty good spot for lift. All right, going way up in the atmosphere, this is at about 30 to 35,000 feet. This is the jet stream level, and uh, let me just put this into motion here. Okay, this is at the jet stream level at 30 to 35,000 feet, and this is the NAM computer model guidance, by the way, from, uh, oh, looks like this is from the evening. Let me go to the morning hours. I apologize for that. All right, so here's uh, the fresh run from this morning, and here's our first disturbance right here. You can see it moving off to the east now, and watch what happens as we get into time. Here's this evening, and again, I had mentioned that jet streak. Here it is. We're on the nose of it in the left front quad, perfect position for some lift this evening. That moves by, and then we wait for the next <clears throat> disturbance to come in, and you can see it right here. It's actually a little bit stronger because it's got more of a dip associated with the jet structure. So this is what we call a short wave or a, a bit of a trough developing over the upper Midwest. And this is for Monday morning, but that would mean this area here is in a prime area for lift late Sunday night, Monday morning. So uh, the atmosphere is in uh, great shape to support some snow here. And one last thing, and I've mentioned to you this before, but we look for dendrite growth zones. <clears throat> What that means is that we need to have the temperature where the uh, flakes develop fully. And there's a certain temperature in the middle layers of our atmosphere where flakes will fully develop. And that usually you'll get those bigger flakes when you get this environment. And that's usually at 700 millibars. So let's just circle it for you here. Here's 700 millibars. That's at about 10 to 15,000 feet. And you want the temperature to be somewhere in that minus 10 to minus 13 area. And you can see this morning we're probably a little bit too cold this morning here in eastern Minnesota to support some real good snow. But watch what happens here as we go through time. This is now this evening, and look at where our temperatures are. They're at the minus 13 to minus 10 area right here in southern Minnesota. So this would be a prime area for snow development for heavier snow. All right, and then that area moves off to the southeast quickly by tomorrow morning. And then again, we look towards Sunday evening, and here we are. This is Sunday evening, and look at the temperatures. We're right in that minus 9, minus 10 to minus 13 area here over southern and eastern Minnesota and western Wisconsin. So that kind of gives you a pretty good idea of where the heaviest snows will fall here in these next two episodes. Okay, here comes future radar from the NAM computer model guidance, and here's the snow over the Minot area that I showed you on radar right here. It expands this morning over North Dakota and then steadily and quickly moves southeast so that by about 6 p.m. it is overspreading our region right here. Maybe even a little bit earlier as you get into the Mankato areas and west, just west of the Twin Cities. And that uh, area expands this evening and quickly then moves off, similar to last night, by the way, but quickly moves off to the southeast so that by about midnight tonight, it'll probably clear Minnesota and western Wisconsin. So Eau Claire, Rochester will be the last ones to get out of the snow, but I think by about midnight, the snow will come to an end. Now, just like this morning, we likely will have some flurries and maybe even a spit of light snow as we get into the early morning hours tomorrow. That's just the pattern that we're in and we need to get used to it. And that'll probably be the same for Monday too. And then of course, look at the next system here, almost taking the same track, developing near Minot on uh, Sunday afternoon and evening and then quickly spreading Southeast. And look at that, just a bullseye right over the Twin Cities Metro as we get into early, early Monday morning. And that again could produce several inches of snow. We'll have to see. Okay, here is the snow, by the way, from the NAM computer model guidance. As we zoomed in, here's the Twin Cities Metro, of course. 
We're zoomed into our area now, and this is snow now through about noon tomorrow, okay? So about the next 24 hours worth of snow here. And the NAM guidance is expecting around two inches up in the Twin Cities Metro. And then as you get down to Mankato and Rochester, three to four inches plus. Some areas down here near Albert Lee and Austin, Minnesota, maybe in excess of four inches of snow. Now, as we go through time here and then we look at Sunday night and into Monday morning, here's where then the snow bullseye will develop the way it appears. It should be right over the Twin Cities Metro and the I-94 corridor. So from St. Cloud to the Twin Cities to Eau Claire, another three to four inches of snow appears likely later Sunday night and into Monday morning. Yes, I know complicated, a lot going on. Uh, long story short, I think there's going to be quite a bit of work for us here over the next 48 hours or so. Okay, thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, I'll let you go. Take care out there. Best of luck.